we got the Game Face try on here. Now, I know this was a highly anticipated blast for a lot of people were like, Xbox, when are you going to do a review on it? And we've had it the whole time, I mean, for the last month and a half. And I've been shooting it, testing it with different darts, and just kind of putting it through its paces to figure out where that sweet spot is. Because you guys know this thing is fully customizable and you can kind of get it to shoot where you want to shoot but we all know that some blasters shoot a little bit better at higher fps's with different darts so that's what i wanted to put it through so let's jump in and let's actually take a look at the box i love this this is kind of like a turquoise in white now i do know they have different color variations of this but i think this color variation looks freaking sweet in the box and now look at this thing up close i mean look at that the turquoise accents there or i think they call it blue i think look freaking awesome. I did hear a lot of people complain about when they got theirs on pre-order, theirs was the wrong color. Luckily, mine came as the right color. Now, one of the cool things about this blaster is going to be the ability to kind of figure out what FPS works for you. Now, during our local wars, we have a high FPS round sometimes, which is usually like 200 plus or 250, and then normally we shoot at 150. What's great about this is in the back here, you can actually stick these little spacers. By default, this thing shoots roughly about 130 FPS. With one spacer, you can get upwards of about 160 to 150, somewhere right in there. And then if you do double spacers, you can get upwards of about 200 FPS, somewhere right in there. I did notice that the sweet spot for me was with one spacer. I was shooting about 151 to 150, somewhere right in there. Now, the darts that come along with this, they're a nice color. They're like this turquoise. I think it's great. I don't know if the other packages made it so the darts are actually the same color as the color variant that you got. I could be wrong. You guys let me know down in the comments. But I did notice that those darts were probably not the best ones to shoot out here. I did like the uh, DZP darts as well as the Adventure Force Pro darts, so, you know, short darts you can get from Walmart. Those shot the most consistent that I saw out of here. I tried Worker Gen 3s. I tried a bunch of other ones, and they seem to be a little bit less consistent comparison to the dart zone ones. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now, the only thing that I could say about this particular blaster that I didn't like necessarily is gonna be this front uh, thing up here. I thought this was gonna be some type of uh, like a scar, but it's not, it's all for looks. And that is okay. Now it is a nice twist on, so you know it's gonna stay on really, really nice. It does act, you know, look kind of cool. So I'm gonna try and definitely put something a little bit different up there. But the front grip up here, guys, is definitely small for my hands like it is like small it fits okay but it's like sometimes my bottom hand right here my bottom oh it just like it's oh my gosh give me something a little bit bigger but i think i'm going to take that off and try something new i did see a few things online uh that you can throw on here that people were doing to kind of give it that just extra grip up front but ergonomically it feels so good you guys in the hands like when i'm running around with this thing it feels really really good with that adjustable stock back here you have four additional points or three if you want to call the last one one but I mean, for most nerfers out there, you're gonna find a spot on this that's gonna work for you. I think for smaller nerfers, by all means, putting it with one spring spacer in there, it is super, super easy to prime. But again, you're shooting roughly about 130, about 120 to 130. And the mags itself, it comes with like their kind of new magazine style, but it does work, of course, with, yes, Talon mags themselves. So you guys can check those out. There are my faves. You guys always see them when I'm running around on my local fields. But the accents on it are just great. Look at that. The accents, I mean, you got the that turquoise on there, you got the trigger, and you got the mag release, you got all the internals. It looks so good. And it's not gonna do the thing justice like, like when I'm shining it here. It does not do it justice, but when you get it, you're like, man, they did the barrel inside, they did all the accents on the inside. It looks really, really good. I'm super pumped to try this out during warmer weather, just to kind of see where it lands. And then maybe, you know, when I do my local wars, see how the uh, you know, the, the, the local kids want to try this thing and see how they like it because I think they actually might like this thing based on how it looks. But again, I think it's a great blaster. Game Face, I've been using some of their stuff for a while. Um, I'll see if I could throw up a link right there to some of the old stuff that I used to use. But when I saw this, I was like, ooh, we got to try it. And, you know, by using uh, Dart Zone Max Darts, it shoots great. Shooting about 150 to 155 with one spacer. I didn't even try it. Well, I tried it a little bit with two spacers. It was just shooting too hard for me. I would never really use that but I love being able to swap it right in the back here and just go in case I want to do a higher FPS round. So overall, you guys, this thing rocks. I mean, I, you know, I just want to do a quick review for you guys to say, look, you know, maybe I'll do another video of me shooting this thing, but there's a thousand videos out there, but that is my true honest opinion of having this thing for about a month. I put a lot of rounds for this guys. I put a ton of rounds for this, probably, probably about 70 mags worth of shooting at targets, shooting at trees, testing out the different darts, testing out the different mags. And overall for the price, it's great. I got I got nothing to complain about it. It's uh, it's great except for this front pump grip because I got larger 
big just monster hands here. So anyways, let me know what you guys think of this thing. Leave it down in the comments. We probably will do another shooting test so you guys can kind of, you know, see what the spring spacers are like and things like that with the different darts. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Leave it down in the comments. Thanks again, Fox fans.